this is almost all conferences I have been to since 1995 when I started as a PhD student in the, the growth of silicon carbide and then my first conference was in 1996 in Greece and since that time I have uh, participated at many 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 conferences and also I have been organizer of conferences and events and workshops and different meeting points and this is my basic advice to all of you who are out there trying to be active with creating new things and new opportunities. Because basically, there is, every time you go to a meeting place, there are some people who you can meet who have, has, have um, other experiences than your own. So that's why organizing events is very important because then you will be organizing the events, people start to know you and they start to interact, ask questions and so on. And if you're attending a conference, maybe you will go to certain talks or posters, but those are not the most important ones on the long term. Because when you talk with people at the coffee and other meeting, and then you, first you don't have anything in common, but then you realize, oh, have you done this since um, 10 years or something like that? So maybe now it's a good timing for us to initiate this new avenue together. So we take this and this, and go into this route. And the first time I realized that uh, organizing a conference, and especially a conference or event, uh, where you cannot go downtown, to the old city or anything like that. So in year 2000, it was a Silicon Carbide conference in Klosterbanz in Germany. So this is located in the nowhere. We were transported there by bus and during four days of this conference, uh, we, the only thing we could do was to interact with each other during sessions and also in the morning when we had breakfast and all those things. So that was the first time I realized that uh, that type of location is very good for meeting more people because then you, after you're tired of discussing all the scientific events, then you start to talk about other things, or like in my case, I usually start to talk about music or guitar playing, and then you bond with people in different ways, and then you create opportunities. So for all of you who are out there and uh, being young, promising researchers, uh, I uh, encourage you, first of all, you should publish and all these things, but that's a base, and then start organizing meeting points, so you meet people, and not only in your own discipline, also in other disciplines, so you just discuss maybe innovation, that's a common thing, not the detailed focus of some scientific field. And then you will meet people and there will be unexpected possibilities. And now I must collect these once again. So. <laughs> 